Okay guys, so this is part two in this uh, intro to algo trading. Um, didn't get any comments in the last video, but it was very well received. So figure I'll keep going with these short videos and try to plug in, you know, two or three a week. Uh, so this is, um, yeah, so part two here on idea generation. I figured it was the next logical progression now that we're all on the same page with the terminology between uh, gray box, black box. Um, and this will kind of, this should be the same for gray box, black box, and discretionary traders here. Uh, all we're doing is how do we figure out what to tell the robot how to, uh, how to trade. Just the very basic, very overview, how do you come up with ideas? And this is real short because I only know of two ways. Um, and I said, this is the shitty part of auto trading. No one wants to do this, but it's the most important. Everybody wants to be fed a strategy. Everybody wants to be fed, okay, this is what you do. Plug this into your robot and it will make money. Um, as anyone who's traded the market will tell you and knows, nothing works forever. Um, uh, nothing works, nothing, you know, if you trade something now, uh, it's not going to be the same later. It's, you know, you need to constantly tweak and you need to build new strategies and old ones. So don't just sit and, and ask for strategies, right? Make your own. Um, okay, so it's, uh, it's very important to come up with your own ideas instead of just finding strategies and copying them, right? You'll have more faith in them. If a strategy starts to go bad and you have two or three bad days with a particular strategy, you might just throw it out and say, oh, this idiot that, um, uh, this idiot that, that, uh, posted this that gave it to me is just, he doesn't know what he's talking about, right? Two, so two days in, so you basically, and then you find out later that it worked great, just those two days didn't work. Um, Right. Uh, if you're going to pull them for others, take time to really learn what works, really understand why. So if, if basically what I do is if I see a strategy in one of the rooms that I'm in or, you know, I, I've, I've sold a lot of copies of trade ideas, things like this, people come to me and say, you know, thanks, I'm, I'm loving it. Here's a strategy that I built as kind of a thank you or just collaborative or whatever. I'll take it and I'll run it through its races. Right. I need to know exactly how it works, under what conditions it will work. I'll back test it entirely. I'll uh, I'll do whatever whatever it takes for me to feel comfortable. Um, so if you do find a strategy from someone else, please make it your own. Right, understand every little bit about it before you trade. Um, all right. So how how do I generate my ideas for my robot? How do I uh, uh, you know, create a new strategy, start back testing it, start forward testing. Um, so the two ways, one is to do the work. And this is the one that you're going to obviously see that I'm going to like is, uh, um, Sorry, it's a thing. Uh, that's what happens when you record a video during the trading day. But um, so uh, so you watch the charts. You just you sit there, and even though you're an auto trader or a gray box trader or a black box trader or, or whatever, you look and see. Um, okay, what what is working, right? You know, you you see in a room that a guy really likes when a, a low float breaks, it's opening range, um, and you know, he stops it below the low and he seems to hold it for about 10 minutes. So you've, you've seen this work with your own eyes. Now it's time to go take it and go into the back testing system, right? So just so that you don't uh, understand, just so you don't, um, uh, just so you don't, uh, confirmation bias, so you don't deal with confirmation bias, so you don't do whatever you want, and you just don't see it work a couple times and then just start trading it, because we know that that's not proper, right, that's confirmation bias, you're going to do, you're going to get different things, so you first see that work, and see it work over and over and over again, and then you back test it in theory, right, and then you build your strategy, 
And then the other one is just throwing crap at the wall. And this is something that can work, um, won't work as much, but can work. Where if you just start taking, okay, I want something that's breaking its opening range, and you throw it in, and with the beauty of the odds maker, which is something I will show you guys in detail in one of these lessons later, you can find out in exactly what situations over the past few months that buying an opening range breakout would work. And you can go through, and it takes time, and you can just hammer it out, hammer it out, hammer it out, hammer it out. Um, and that will work as well. Um, so both work. I like the first one because you're seeing it work in practice first and then uh, tweaking with it later. Um, the second one, the benefit of it, and I think these are all on the next slide. Nope. Uh, the second one, the benefit of it, is that you might see something that you haven't seen before, right? I might, like, look at um, uh, support breaks and put a support break into trade ideas and run it and get 8,000 results and filter them down to the best 100 or 200 and then see something from that that I wouldn't have seen just watching charts. So, again, it's, it's the work, right? And this is, people aren't going to like this as much because the how-to is to sit your ass in your chair and get to work, right? Go through YouTube videos, go through chat rooms, go through whatever, find what people are bragging about making money off of, and then take that and take that into a completely uh, emotionless system like a trade ideas and try to figure out exactly, okay, is he just cherry picking his best trades or is this a setup that actually works? And then just keep doing it, right? So, sorry, I don't have any magical uh, how-tos, but uh, this is, this is kind of just um, the best way to do it, right? And it's just work. It's hard work. It's crappy work. It takes hours. No one wants to do it, but it's the work. So, um, all right, guys, I will see you in a couple days. Again, please comment. Tell me what you want to see covered. I'm kind of flying off the seat of my pants here. So s tell me what you want to have covered, and, uh, and we will figure it out from there. And we'll we'll uh, put a cool little course together. All right, guys. See you guys, say, Wednesday.